organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thanks for tuning in to your latest edition of Daily Iowan TV, your television news, sports, and weather source for the Daily Iowan. I'm Katie Reber, broadcasting from the Daily Iowan Newsroom. Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney was in Iowa Monday campaigning as November's election draws near, now just 141 days away. Romney stopped in Dubuque and took a ride on the Mississippi River in the spirit of Dubuque. The economy was once again one of the presidential hopeful's major talking points, and Monday's visit aimed to win over voters in several key Midwestern swing states that voted for Obama in 2008. Check out Tuesday's front page of the Daily Iowan for a more in-depth look at Romney's visit to Iowa. An Iowa City woman is in jail after allegedly running over and killing a friend following an altercation in a parking lot on the city's south side. 50-year-old Miranda Layla allegedly backed up in her truck with the driver's side door open, knocking 44-year-old Pamela Gross to the ground. Gross was run over and killed. Layla is charged with second offense operating while intoxicated and is being held in Johnson County Jail on a $50,000 bond. A former Drake University student has been sentenced to 20 years in prison after sexually assaulting a fraternity brother and videotaping the acts, KCCI in Des Moines reports. 22-year-old Anthony Bertalone was found guilty of five counts of third-degree sexual abuse during his trial in May, and on Tuesday, the judge sentenced him to 20 years. Bertalone did not apologize for his role in the assault caught on video, which shows him performing sexual acts on an unconscious fraternity brother. Bertalone must also register as a sex offender when released from prison. The old Capitol building is one of the most picturesque scenes on campus, but it can be easy to overlook that the building was once the Capitol building for Iowa. Earlier today, I took a look at a photo collection on display at the State Historical Society of Iowa that chronicles the history of Iowa's Capitol buildings. Once located in Iowa City, Iowans now call Des Moines the Capitol of Iowa. John Zeller's art gallery of photos of the state capitol were on display at the State Historical Society of Iowa in Iowa City today. Ranging from detailed photos of the interior to broad shots of the state capitol, Zeller captured many photos that will be used in Rosa Snyder's booklet entitled Glimpses of Iowa's Capitol. Some people view the capitol as an attraction and museum, while others call it their workplace. The old capital in Iowa City was built in 1840 and still stands in the center of the University of Iowa campus. And we asked one Iowa City resident her thoughts on the new capital versus the old one here in Iowa City. The uh, one in Des Moines is much bigger and much newer and much more impressive, but this one's got its own, you know, gems too. You know, It's just got a lot of, you know, just quaint history. You can check out the display at the State Historical Society of Iowa all week long. And now for a quick look at sports. The 26th season of Primetime League Basketball is set to tip off Tuesday. This year's Primetime League only consists of four teams as a new NCAA regulation on summer workouts has required the University of Northern Iowa not to participate this summer. Primetime League games will be played at 3 o'clock and 4.30 on Sunday afternoons and 6 o'clock and 7.30 on Tuesday nights. There will be seven nights of regular season play followed by a championship game at the end of the season. League Commissioner Randy Larson hopes to have two current Hawkeyes, two former Hawkeyes, and one incoming Hawkeye on each team. Recent Wisconsin transfer and Cedar Rapids native Jared Utoff was the first overall pick in the 2012 Primetime League draft held last week. Check out Daily Iowan TV tomorrow night for coverage of Tuesday night's 6 o'clock game. And before we leave, let's take a quick look at the local weather forecast. Expect another hot and breezy Tuesday. We'll see sunny skies and temps should get up to about 94 with wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour during the day. Tuesday night, we'll see clear skies with a low around 74 and those wind gusts will carry on throughout the night. There's a 50% chance of rain during the day Wednesday, and you can expect temps in the 80s and mostly sunny skies for the rest of the week and on to the weekend. And only with Daily Iowan TV can you get a sneak peek into Tuesday's print edition of the Daily Iowan. 
read about the community's reaction to a recent agreement between the University of Iowa and Anheuser-Busch, plus read about a $7.6 million grant for the UIHC. That's your latest update from the Daily Iowan TV. You can check us out anytime at dailyiowan.com.